Here you go. 2019 Margaritaville. Kent International. Jimmy Buffett. 1977. Lots of lime cream. Lots of cream. Basket. Parrot. Oh, the parrot. <laughs> Seven speed shifter. Front and rear brakes. Bought it from walmart.com. Everything came. I, the frame was folded. I had to install the front tire, the crank arms, the baskets, the fenders, the seat, the seat post, handlebars, the gooseneck. The crazy part about it all is, is that the you have literally one Allen screw here. One Allen screw here. Two wheel nuts with the safety locks on them. The back half of the bike was already assembled. Had to put the seat post. Well, actually the seat and the seat post came as one. And it was folded together, so I had to I had to turn it and adjust it. But it has a quick release, seat post clamp. So, and I'm six foot four and three quarters, so I have it up there about an inch higher than what it needs to be. And I'm probably gonna alter that. I, I, I'm looking like mm, that over there. I'm needing something like that over there on here. Not that they're too much different, but I might put a laid back seat post on it. I'm not really sure yet, but anyways. How cool is that? For the most part though, the uh, it's a folding frame. It's all pretty simple and straightforward. I didn't, didn't really actually need no direction. I mean, I have the uh, the adult tricycle assembly manual, and it's kind of universal, so I mean, it doesn't really, I mean, it, it tells you, but it doesn't tell you. I mean, it's kind of a universal, but I mean, as far as like, the one thing that I did look up, I actually looked up the, uh, the fender placement to know whether or not they went on the inside or the outside. I figured they went on the inside, but I wasn't totally sure the brackets well after reading on it it's pretty simple and straightforward it says install them on the inside towards the brackets put the screws through the outside then yeah, everything was great you literally I put the bottom one on I put the top one on I put the bottom one on put the top one on bottom one on top one on and then I snug down the bottom and then well, the bottom, the top, the bottom, the top, bottom, top. And then I adjusted the fender wells. So, well, the fenders, I should say. Fender well. Ha. Anyways, I put them, I put them slightly, slightly to the inside. And I figured it like this. I figured the vibrations of me riding it around. They're going to, uh, I don't know, that's almost dead center. Close enough though. I mean, this one might be a hair bit off. But literally, the instruction manual, it tells you once you get everything on, get it tightened down, then you have to adjust it so that it doesn't rub. And I'd rather have them actually set to the inside a little bit so that they can actually lean out through the vibration and I don't have to worry about them rubbing. Front fender, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Basket, same thing. I mean, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. A couple of bolts, a 
couple nuts. I mean, it was it was super simple. The fender. Drop the fender on, put the bolt in, drop the basket on it, lock everything down. It was it was pretty good. As far as brake adjustment, uh the front brake I had to I had to tighten the cable just a little bit for the most part, but I actually had to release. Initially I released the cable and it's a it's a quick release. So once you align align the handbrake so that everything is is all straight, you literally just separate it separate it from the quick release right here. Pull it apart, drop it in there, put it back here. Hold these pretty close to tight. Give yourself like, I don't know, eighth of an inch. And then eighth of an inch between your brake pad and your, uh, I, I, I still have to adjust the brake pads. I haven't adjusted those yet. I mean, it's close, but it, it still needs to come down some. This one, this one's about perfect, but the driver's side, it needs to be adjusted just a slight bit down. But since I haven't been able to test ride it though, I mean, it's snowing outside. It's like Hurricane Idaho Falls out there. So we'll cross that bridge here when I get a chance. I mean, I'll adjust this first, but then the brake, as far as the brake tension goes, we'll adjust that after we ride it. Just so that, you know, nothing rubs and we make sure everything's all nice and snug and tight. But that's pretty much it. The bike, uh, bike from, or Margaritaville bike from Walmart.com. Everything came in, uh, it, it came perfectly wrapped. I mean, there's there's no scratches anywhere. This bike is flawless. I'm, I'm very impressed. I mean, I hopefully, you know, buying more bicycles from Walmart, hopefully they all come with this kind of, I don't know, what do you call it? Excellence? I mean, I'm... I'm pretty happy. After reading all the reviews online about the Margaritaville bikes and some of the some of the bikes that they've had come in, I was a little nervous about actually buying it online. But uh, the box, <clears throat> when I opened it up in one of my other videos, the the tire on the back was in between. It had the three fenders stuck to the front tire and it was actually sitting between the rear tires. And there was a, like seven, five, six, seven zip ties that were broken. So the tire could like move around. And I don't know if that was from the Walmart employees or I mean like if they got it in off the truck and they checked just to make sure that everything was all nice and neat. Then they saran wrapped it. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but whatever the case may be, I mean, the bike's in excellent shape. I have no complaints anywhere. The one, well, okay, I lied. I do have actually one complaint, and that was the fact that the headset, I had to undo the nut, and I had to back, I had to back off the headset just, I don't know, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, something like that. And then tighten the nut back down because the, the bearings, the bearings in the headset were like super tight. I mean, like they were, I, I'm pretty sure them bearings were screaming every time I like move the steering wheel or the handlebars. So everything now though, everything's all nice and neat and loose and there's no, there's no wobble. I mean, it's exactly where it needs to be. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. And it took me, well, I don't know, it took me less than less than three minutes to adjust it. Literally spun the nut counterclockwise, spun the lock, or I mean spun the, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> I'm not even sure what you call it. 
I've had a few beers, hence the Margaritaville bike. But uh, I spun the, the nut down, or I backed the nut off about an eighth of an inch, eighth or a quarter of a turn, and then tighten the jam nut back down, and it's good to go. I mean, I don't, I don't have any slop. Everything's all nice and tight, but it's not. I mean, it moves super easy now with no slop. So, I mean, win-win. Didn't take three minutes. Anyways, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to ride this tricycle. I'm 47 years old, going on 18. Yeah, okay. In my own feeble mind, anyway. Point being, as soon as it stops snowing outside, we'll give this thing a maiden. And after the maiden, we're going to take and put a set of 25 inch tall handlebars on it. We'll change the gooseneck, maybe install a flame seat. Uh, I've been looking at this. I might, I might put me a steel plate back here just for some structure. And then the sissy bar. I might run the sissy bar down the steel plate. I'm not really sure. I'll have to cross that bridge later on. I might, I might just put a laid back seat post on it. I'm not sure. Once I get the 25 inch tall handlebars on there, we'll, uh, We'll cross that bridge. Anyways, Margaritaville, seven speed, Walmart, aluminum folding frame, like 300 and 316 bucks or something, right around $316 to ship it to Walmart. And I got the privilege of assembling it myself just because I wanted, I just wanted to know what made it, what, what makes it tick. I'm impressed. Peace out, everybody.